Hello everyone, today we are doing another colour series look. This is my second to last one, I'm going to do one more after this. Today we're going to do teal, so let me know down below what colour you want. And I'm not talking about like white, grey and black. I've got a few requests for those which I thought could be cool for like a different kind of look. But for the rainbow series, the colour series, I want to keep it like colourful. So let me know which colour you want to see last. I was thinking of doing pink but I've done quite a lot of like pink looks just in like full face first impressions and stuff so I don't even know. Vote down below. Please help me out. I would love to know what you actually want to see. Quite a lot of people today when I was asking said stuff like blue, green. Obviously I've done those so I thought teal would be perfect. To prep my skin, I'm feeling dry and dehydrated so badly right now so I'm going to begin with my Dermalogica skin hydrating mask and this is one of my favorites it's actually like probably only like that full now because I've used it so often I've told you about this with you guys a million different times because it's one of my favorite like hydrating shush it's one of my favorite hydrating masks it gives me that really nice moisturized feel after I take it off my skin doesn't look so dull and dry and you know, flaky. So I've already cleansed my skin in the shower. You can see I've got my little shower, what is this called, like hair towel on because I washed my hair today. So I'll do that later as well. But I'm just going to apply some of this mask to my face and I'll show you how my skin looks directly after I take it off. So you can see like how well it works immediately. I love this before makeup because it just makes my makeup look so much more radiant and it feels so much more comfortable on my skin. Whenever my skin's feeling dry and posh is when I wear this, especially when I'm traveling because every time I'm on a plane, my skin dries out so badly and also in winter, autumn, in between seasons or just like today where I just feel dry. So once you like kind of put it on, it almost just like looks invisible. I'm gonna take a little bit extra and Pop that under my eyes. I like to take a cheeky little bit over my lips and then whatever's left, just bringing it down in my neck. Look how terrible my feet tan is. You can see how dry my skin is just by looking at it. I'm just gonna take some extra and like rub it into my arm right here where my feet tan looks terrible and rub the excess over my fingers. And we're gonna leave this on for about 10 minutes. This mask has a hyaluronic acid in it which helps to trap the moisture into your skin. It's also got tomato seed lipids to help restore your skin's protective barrier, enhancing moisture levels for healthier, smoother skin. It literally does what it says. It makes my skin look so much better. Sometimes I'll use this right before bed as well if I want some extra moisture at night time. You can literally just fit this into whenever in your routine because it's nice and quick, obviously very gentle and nourishing and it is vegan. So shout out to Dermalogica for sponsoring this video. I have used this stuff for years. It just works. It's really good. If you do want to try this mask for yourself, you can use the code SHANXO for 20% off dermalogica.com.au. I will link it down below. While this mask works, it's magic. I'm going to find some eyeshadows to play with today. I'm so excited. I really feel like doing something super bright. I've got this cute little you know, corset style top. This is from White Fox Boutique and I thought some really fun and bright makeup would look super cute. We're back. I just have to zoom in so you can see how much softer and glowier my skin looks and my lips as well. Like this is no moisturizer, nothing. So now I'd follow up with moisturizer, serum, or just a nice moisturizing primer since we are going to be continuing with makeup today. But just alone, like my skin no longer feels parched. It just feels so comfortable so soft and supple to the touch. It's amazing. You just need to try it. If you love moisturizing things, you need it. I just blow dry my hair as well. Shall we pop in some earrings? These ones are from Boohoo. For my primer today, I'm going to mix together these two products right here. We have the Wonder Glow by Charlotte Tilbury and the Pure Light Sunscreen by Dermalogica. This one's like super brightening and moisturizing. Obviously sunscreen's super important for day to day. And then I'm gonna mix on top some Wonder Glow just to really make my skin look nice and fresh underneath my foundation. I feel like a brand new woman. <laughs> now just before we go on to the face makeup, I'm going to freshen up my chest and arms because like I said, they're dry, they're patchy. I'm going in with the soul stuff because like I say, it seems to be kind of like moisturizing. I don't even know. Soft gold. Squirtily squirt squirt. Just going right over just for some extra hydration and the shimmer will hopefully kind of camouflage the crappy tan. It's not going to look perfect but I think it'll look better. For my foundation today I'm going to use the Double Wear Light by Estee Lauder and I think it's been like changed. I don't know. I thought it was discontinued. That's what I got told. My mum couldn't find it at Farmers. They said it was gone. But then some people said it's been reformulated. I don't know. I haven't tried the new formula but I love this stuff. I have raved about this in the past. But I forgot to outline my eyebrows. <laughs> I'm just using an angled face brush to 
blend this out. I'm gonna avoid around my eyebrows so that I can conceal those like I normally do. Has anyone tried the new formula of this? Is it worth me picking it up or is it not as good? Oh, look how good my skin looks. All those products just make it glow. You all know me. I am all about that glowy base. I'm all about the base. So for this look, here in New Zealand, we're heading into summer shortly. I'm so excited. So this look for me is going to be a very summery, spring inspired. Of course though, if you aren't in warm weather, you can still rock this. There's no rules, but I'm just feeling very inspired because the sun is out today. It's such a beautiful day outside and I just wanted to do something really fun and bright, hence the reason I'm filming this video today. I'm just feeling very inspired to do something fun. So that's just a little bit of foundation. We can add a bit more concealer shortly if we feel the need to. Around my eyeballs, I'm going to use this Meringue Huda Beauty Concealer because it's sitting right in front of me, so I'm just gonna go for it. It is a really good concealer though. And I'll use this under my eyes and over my eyelids as well, just to make sure that I don't have these bright red veins showing through because those just aren't the goods. Oh, this is so nice, a little applicator. It feels so cooling. I should probably have wet a sponge, but alas, I did not. Do any of you guys watch Trailer Trash Tammy? Ah! RIP headphones users. Just like that, and then I'm going to go back in with my angled face brush and just tap this out to blend. Oh, I'm so excited for this makeup look. Oh. I don't know if you guys saw before, but like, look at all those eyeshadows I've just like lined up in the background. We're gonna play with them today, or some of it. I don't even know like which ones yet, but I've got a bunch of new palettes, and a few of them have pretty teal colors, and I'm like, <sighs> Guys, what's your favorite song at the moment? Comment down below. I'm looking for some new songs. I've been loving Chill House at the moment. I've been loving heavy, crazy music at the moment, like heavy bass stuff. I've been loving this song, Midnight Hour by Skrillex. <laughs> Stop doing that before you get copyrighted. This concealer works beautifully with the um, foundation. I'm looking quite pale though, but we'll fix that shortly. By the way, I just used a concealer brush around the eyebrows for a nice sharp line. Through the eyebrows, I'm going to use a little bit of my brow styler pencil side just for some added color because I definitely need to get my eyebrows eyebrow tattoos touched up. And this is really nice. I use shade three. I did a whole video. Showing you guys how to use this product. If you missed it, it went up on Monday. I will link it below. But it was also like a how I touch up my makeup like heck kind of video. What I do in real life just to take my makeup from day to night. Real easy, real quick. Using very few products. And it was a bomb look, basically. Every time I look at it, I'm like, you know what? This is probably the makeup I'm going to wear on my wedding day. But who knows? I keep saying that. It's probably a good option though because it's such easy makeup, like quick and easy. And I feel like on my wedding day, I'm going to want that because I'm not going to want to be like farting around doing something complicated because I'll 100%, 1000% mess it up. And I'll be so nervous and shaky. I just need something like simple. I'm going to use the shade Espresso by ABH. Eyebrow gel, just a little bit. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Get cracking in the club when you hear the shit. Go shake that thing. Yeah, whip that thing. Step up in the club. Oh my god, you I really just want to try this. This is the Mercury Retrograde. Retrograde. I always say it wrong. Retrograde palette by Huda Beauty. I hope you can't see my armpits. They're kind of hairy. These colors, though. They are so up my alley. I love, love, love the purple shades. But I'm gonna take this haze color because it is like a bluish teal color. I'm gonna try not to just make this look like any of my other color series looks because I already did green and blue like I said. Hopefully you guys can see, but here's the green and the blue. And this playlist will be linked down below, but you can see the blue is like a sky blue. The green is like a khaki kind of green. So we're gonna go somewhere in between. I swear I don't have any clean eyeshadow brushes. All right, I found a blender brush, so I'm gonna take Haze. I'm not priming, I'm just gonna go straight in and apply this into my crease. And it is, oh, is that the same color? Is there another? No, I think I'm good. Oh my God, I thought there was like a dark color on this brush. Maybe there is. I can't tell. Anyway, I'm just going to blend this all the way across as my first color. It's quite a light, light blue. We're gonna set the makeup afterwards because I just wanna be able to clean up these edges if I need to. 
before I set my foundation. All right, I look sick so far. This looks like Halloween makeup. I promise it's gonna come together. Mercury color is so amazing because it's like green, blue, and purple all together. So I might use a little bit of that shortly, but first I'm just going to define the crease a little bit and please bear with me while I try a few different eyeshadow palettes. I'm just playing around. This is very experimental. I'm gonna take the shade E1 from the Pro Pigment Palette Volume 2 Norvina. This is like a greenish color and I'm going to pop that in the crease a little bit lower this time. I feel like all of the teal looks I've done on my channel in the past have often just been like gold on the top, teal on the bottom lash line. That's just like a solid look. That is such a good look just for a pop of color. But today obviously for the rainbow series, we are going bold AF. So I'm gonna take the shade E3 mixed with a bit of C4. Oh my god, throw back C4. Any New Zealanders know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna take that on the same brush again and just go on that outer corner and blend that as well. And then we're gonna go in with some fun shimmers and glitters, guys. Now I'm gonna take this hint of mint, P. Louise, and it's a eye primer just to cut my crease. And I'm going to apply a couple of different like shimmers. Just using a little concealer brush. I'm so glad to hear that. You guys have learned how to do a cut crease from me learning how to do a cut crease because for so long I struggled. Just using that padding motion and just a small brush like this is the perfect brush. Pat, 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 pat. And then just sharpen up that line with lots of little pats. Okay, we're gonna go to about there. We can touch up that line. So I'm gonna use the exact same brush and I'm going to go in with a little bit of mercury from the Mercury Retrograde palette. And I'm gonna put that over the edge. Might even use my finger to pat some on. Oh, that's such a cool color. I feel like your fingers work best with these Huda Beauty, like glittery kind of color. Look how cool that is. It's so multi-dimensional. And on my finger, it's just looking blue. But I promise you, it's so much more than that. All right, under my eyes, I'm using this Sugar Cookie by Huda Beauty. I'm gonna lay it on quite heavy so that it should catch Fallout. This is just a vegan small face brush and we'll blend it in later. And then on the rest of my face, I'm going to use my normal MAC Studio Fix Powder. We'll definitely do bronzer and stuff, but I'll just do that a little bit later. Because I just don't really know like how much I'm going to do with this look. Obviously we need some though because my foundation is too pale currently. I'm going to go in with this shade called D1 on my eyelid a little bit. Just kind of like on the ball. That is so good. In a corner and like in a part of my eyelid, I'm going to use the Hello Sunshine Glitter by Lit. This is in size two. I'm hoping that that teal will kind of peek through. I'm putting that on my inner corner as well. And it's kind of got like a little bit of gold in it, which I thought would be really pretty. Under my eyes, I might just go in with a couple of the colors from the Norvina palette we used. If I can open it. I have so much issue with these things. Okay, I'm going to mix together E3 and C4 and just apply that close to the lash line. And then using that D1 again, the shimmery kind of teal color, I'm going to apply that right on top. Quite cool, you get a bit of dimension as you turn your head. It's very sparkly and pretty. This would be so pretty for like Halloween makeup, but <laughs> that's gone for like a mermaid look or something, like under the sea theme. I'm going to now take C4 mixed with E5, which is like a black, so the dark bluish with the black. And I'm going to smudge this on the lash line. I'm just using a little lip detail brush for this. I love a good teal eyeliner. This one is in the shade Zulu. It's by Colourpop. Now, to make it look a little bit less crazy, let's do some very dark mascara and lashes. All right, so the eye makeup is done. I used the Panther lashes, which I trimmed quite short so that they're just kind of like thick on the outer half of my eye make my eye look kind of like elongated a little bit. They're very dramatic. You could of course do something a bit more natural, but I'm going with that like very party kind of theme. So yeah, hopefully this is teal enough. Like <laughs> I don't even know at this point. I'm going to contour and brighten my under eyes. So I'm going to use the Revolution Contour Kit. I don't even know if they make this exact one anymore, but they've got similar ones on the website for very cheap. So I'm using the yellow on that same small face brush. I'm just patting that underneath. 
And then with a angled face brush or bronzer brush, I'm going to take this second color. Just use whatever contour you love. I'm going to. Oh my god. <coughs> I just got like powder in my throat. Oh my god, I felt like I was gonna suffocate. Woo! And then I'm going to use a glowy bronzer. Oh my god, my voice is like not the same anymore. <coughs> Let's use this one, Get Glowing in Miami Heat by Designer Brands with a nice big jumbo face brush. Just blending that over my cheeks, forehead, temples, just to really make my skin look a bit more tan, like my chest, and healthy and glowy. So right now I look a little bit ghost like Casper. No shade to any ghosts watching my video right now. Alright, I'm going to add a little bit of blush just to make my skin look a little bit more lifelike. This one right here is the Peach My Cheeks Too Faced Melting Powder Blush. I'm going to use it on a dense fiber brush. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. It smells like peaches. I'm just pressing that into the cheek. For highlighter, I'm going to do something golden just to perk up my skin. I'm going to use the Hyper Real Glow, the golden kind of color, on a detail face brush. Just over my cheekbones, tip of my nose. I'm also going to use a little bit of that just underneath my brow bone. Okay, lips. What do we do? Like, I just really want to use a nude, but I feel like we should do something at least like a little bit more or peachy. Should we do something a little bit fun? Let's do this. This is called Melon Pop by Clinique. It's quite a sheer color. Maybe I should have used a lip pencil underneath. And then I'm going to set my skin using setting spray. Where is it? Oh, here it is. It's fallen on the ground. This is my Glam Glow one, which I love, which I need another one. I've already used up like two of these. Okay, honestly, I promise you I look less dead in real life. For some reason, I'm getting like ridiculously washed out of my face in this lighting. This is probably a little bit better. I feel like I could probably blend this color a little bit nicer on my brow bone, but honestly, I don't even think I have a single clean blending brush. So there's that. I don't know. I think I bought it up too high. Or maybe I should have used like a warm color to begin the transition. I don't know. It's still really fun though and fun for parties and stuff like that. I feel like it's very 80s or something. All those glitters though, so pretty. Just all the different shimmers and tones. I feel like they just all blended together like friggin butter. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video for a little bit of creative fun. Once again, let me know what color you want for the last look. I would love to know because I want to do the most requested one. Are we thinking peach, pink, a different kind of like lavender? What do you want to see? Thumbs up if you loved it, thumbs down if you hated it, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!